Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be slightly different than the videos I normally make. I'm going to be transforming my road bike, my Merida Sculptura, into an e-bike using an e-bike conversion kit that can be easily bought on Amazon or eBay. Now I'll pop up here, the one that I am currently using, and I'll include it in the description below and any other things I buy to make this happen. Now I wanted to get an e-bike conversion kit to try out an e-bike and see what it's like. I didn't wanna particularly pay $2,000, $3,000 for one. So I wanted to get the conversion kit, put it onto my bike that I know rides well, and then see how it goes. And I'm getting this mainly to help with the hills and also just to help ride around more and stop using the car as much. Now I'll see how this feels on the bike when I put it on, because it does add a bit of extra weight. And if I don't like it, I can easily just disassemble it and take it off. And in that case, I might buy a cheaper bike put the e-bike conversion kit on that one and just have a small commuter and keep this one for if I do any more triathlons or whatever like that. So I'm gonna get started on transforming this bike into an e-bike. Okay, here's all the pieces set up and hopefully everything's here. I did have to get a couple of extra parts like the crank set um, spanner to make sure you can take that off, that's not included. Now I'll be following this user manual that shows you how to install everything. So see how this goes. I might have to look up a couple of YouTube videos if I'm stuck in any spot, but see if I can do it just by following the instructions. Let's get to it. One eternity later. So here we are about two, three months later since I first got my e-bike conversion kit. Um, and you would have seen in the original video that I was putting onto my Merida Sculptura. But as you can see, this is not the Merida. Um, what actually happened was when I was putting the e-bike conversion kit onto the Merida. Um, it's a carbon frame, that doesn't change it too much. But what was happening was even with some torque uh, levers to put on the back to stop it from spinning, even then it ratcheted it out of the, the back holds. And no matter what I did, even with two uh, torque levers on, it still happened. So I kind of just gave up. I don't want to do anything to that bike to possibly ruin the frame. So I just went out and was like, okay, I'm gonna find a cheaper bike. I found this bike here, the Sprint Fluid Men's Bike from Anaconda, which was on sale for 350. And so that's actually been really good. And so you can see here that battery's here, the components there, and it's got the hub wheel on there. So I had to do uh, a couple of months of just like looking around, trying to find the right thing, see if I can find a secondhand bike. But I just decided to get one from um, Anaconda, and after about a month now of riding it, I just love the e-bike. It's so nice being able to put the throttle on and then just speed along um, and not having to go crazy and try to keep pedaling to keep the same speed. It's, like I said, it's really great for bumping your speed up, especially when you're about to start with the acceleration. So I'm really happy with how it went. Um, I'll put any details in the description below about the model I used and everything. So I really would recommend getting this bike conversion kit as it's really super easy. You just put it on the back of the bike and it works. And something that didn't come with was the torque levers. Um, so you might have to look into getting them. So I'll put that also in the description of the ones I bought and it's been working perfectly fine. Like I said, really enjoy it. Um, and I wish I did it a lot sooner because it just makes going up hills so much easier and more enjoyable. In terms of speed, so normally it would take probably about 25 minutes for me to ride to work. This takes 15 minutes um, and and when I get there, I'm like hardly sweating at all. Um, and it's just like such an easier ride and more enjoyable. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to know anything else about this type of conversion, let me know. I've done a lot of research now. Um, and so I really feel like I understand um, the e-bike conversion kits and what to look at for and everything like that. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video. I'd say the only downside to the e-bikes you can get for conversion kits is they're just not fast enough.